Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we are actually gonna be making some custom glass eyes. I've never done this before, so I'm gonna try and do it as easy as possible and hopefully you guys can follow along and make your own. Now besides trying to make this easy, I'm also trying to make this really affordable. I don't want to spend a whole lot of money doing this and I also don't wanna to have to buy a ton of supplies for it. So I'm gonna try and do that and see how cheap I can get my glass eyes. So for the artwork, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use my tablet. Now you don't have to have a fancy like desktop tablet, you can use a handheld tablet and even some drawing apps work really well on your phone. If you get a stylus, you can get a little bit more control and be able to do that. So I'm going to start on the artwork first for the eyes and kind of walk you through the different steps and settings that I ended up using to make the eyes. So first things first, what I'm using is Sketchbook. This was free. It's not free anymore. At least um, I believe they sold it to another company. So they probably will cost you money if you want to use this app, but there's tons of other apps that are free that you can use to draw with. I think even Windows still has paint and I think they've improved it a lot since I was a kid using paint on an uh, old computer. So again, my app is free. Um, my tablet, not so much, but again, you could use even your smartphone for this. And then the settings that I'm doing is I'm basically trying to make the same pixel size as a normal piece of paper. So I want to do an 8x10. Now with making high quality digital files, you want to pick a specific pixel size. So I want to go 300 pixels per square inch. That tends to be like the average for a good thing, but you can go even higher if you want uh, to make it even higher quality. But 300 pixels per square inch is what I tend to do with my artwork. Now with mobile devices, you may not be able to adjust this, um, but I believe on my tablet, the same software uses uh, like 70 pixels per square inch, which is still not that bad. So since we're working with 300 pixels per square inch, the size of my canvas is 2400 by 3000. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to figure out the size of an eye. So the eye size that I like to use a lot is a 16 millimeter, so I'm going to be using those. So for that, what I ended up doing was I ordered my little glass domes for that. I got a hundred for ten dollars and I'm going to take one of those and trace it onto a piece of paper. I'm going to take a photo of that piece of paper and then I'm going to add it to the file and size it up so it fits the screen perfectly. So that 8x10 piece of paper is now an 8x10 piece of digital art. <laughs> And now that I have the size of my eye, I can trace this and I can duplicate it and make a ton of little circles all over the canvas. And I'm gonna try and fit them together as nicely as I can. So each page that I print will have a ton of eyes. Now, one thing that I did with the little circles is I actually blurred them. That way I don't have a harsh little ring around the eye. The little black line will kind of blend into the eye itself and I don't have to worry about like cutting that away or anything like that. Now for working on the eye, what I ended up doing was I used the mirroring tool, both the horizontal and the vertical one, both at the same time. And this just helped me get everything nice and symmetrical. So you'll see those little bars on the little circle that I'm drawing on for the eye, and I've centered it as best I could. Some of them I didn't center very well, but others I got really good. And I just started getting to work on sketching everything out. Using the mirroring tools, you can do a little eye slit or you can do a circle pupil. Um, I messed around with a few different shapes and sizes and stuff for this.
And I just made a bunch of different designs. I made two pages worth, that way I had a decent amount to print off. And what I'm gonna do to print these off is I don't wanna print off a ton of them and spend a ton of money. I actually want to get them really quick and easy as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go to cvs.com and I'm going to print them off there and pick them up. And I actually placed my order online like at 8.30 at night and it was ready in 20 minutes. I didn't get it in 20 minutes, I got it in the morning because I didn't wanna leave at 8.30 at night, but it, it was really fast and convenient. Now I got two pages of each, so it was four prints, and they had a discount, so it was 60% off, and I only spent like maybe $8 after tax, but it would have been maybe 16 before tax um, if I didn't get that discount. So either way, it still wasn't that bad, but I'm really glad I got that discount. Okay, so we have our artwork done, and we also have our glass domes. Now we need to get our glue so we can put them together. Now, I wasn't quite sure what glue to use, so I did a decent amount of research, and I found that Diamond Glaze works really well with glass and won't mess up the photographs. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a tiny little dab of the glue. You don't want to use a lot, but you want to use enough that it doesn't like make little air bubbles. And I'm just going to put a little drop of glue down and I'm going to place my glass on top. Before I placed it, I also wiped the back of it to make sure I didn't have any smudges down. Now the first time around I added too much and they were kind of sliding around so it took me a while waiting for the glue to dry to make sure that they wouldn't move because they kept kind of wanting to slide off, but once I figured out the right amount of glue to put down, it was working quite well and they were actually drying pretty quickly. Some of them were drying within a few minutes, but to get them completely dry, this glue takes about two to three hours. Oh, by the way, the price of the glue that I got was $15 for this bottle, but there is a smaller size and you don't need a whole lot of this, so honestly, I could have gone with the smaller size, but it was just a better buy to go with the bigger one. The smaller size, I think, was 12. Now one thing you'll notice when I'm putting the glass eye over the artwork is it kind of magnifies and distorts it a little bit and I didn't really account for this so with some of the eyes it doesn't look the best because it kind of cuts off some of the artwork but with others it looks really good. And so I'll have to take that into account when I'm making more and I might adjust some of these patterns that way that I can actually get them to look the way I wanted them to look but for my first time, not that bad. And that was basically it. The only thing that I needed to do next was test them in the oven. So I did run them through a small amount of baking just to make sure that nothing happened to the photograph or the glue or anything fogged up or anything like that. And they worked quite well. Nothing seemed to have happened to them or anything like that. So I think they're pretty much fine to work with with the clay and baking them in clay pieces. So you're probably wondering how much each pair of eye cost me. Now granted, I have more material than needed. So I have enough material to make a hundred eyes because I only got a hundred of the glass domes. But if I bought more, I could drop the cost of eyes even more. I would just need to buy more. So right now with just making the hundred, if I break it down, it will only cost me about 64 cents to make a pair of eyes. So that is really, really good because you can get these higher quality eyes from anywhere. Like for this size, I think they're usually about $5. Obviously you can get like lower quality for a lot cheaper. Actually, probably not. I think it's about the same. I'd have to look into it. I know you can get packs of random eyes for like, like $12, $15, but um, again, they're not that great a quality and they're random. So you don't even know if you have pairs. But yeah guys, a lot of these eyes are going to be popping up in future videos. I'm going to be using them quite a bit and I'll probably even make more designs because I like just drawing them out. It's really fun. I'm also going to try and link everything down below. Hopefully I was able to find links for everything so you guys can check it out yourself. I'm going to go with the like smaller mounts except for the glass eyes. I'm going to go with uh, basically the same size that I use. 
but with the glue I'm gonna probably link a smaller amount because you don't need that much glue unless you're making like a bajillion eyes. Now just a reminder these are affiliated links so if you do buy anything through them it does help support the channel. Anyways guys thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!